Hey guys, so in today's video I basically wanted to kick off a series where I'm going to be going to uh, top performing e-commerce sites across the web and implementing uh, features that I find on them. And so this is a response to, to someone uh, in one of my comments, but I think that uh, the feature that I'm going to cover in today's video is, is really helpful for increasing conversion rates and just making your site look uh, prettier and, and more functional. So uh, if you're interested, stick around. Um, the, the code is going to be very easy. It's going to be copy paste. All right, guys. So today's website that I'm on is um, Burberry.com. It's a men and women's clothing uh, site. And so uh, from you know my quick little research, uh, Burberry does about four billion um, Great British pounds per year. Uh, so a very successful e-commerce site. Um, and so let's see uh, what features we can we can learn from Burberry and, and what we can potentially code into some of the Shopify th free themes. So um, so here we're on this this uh, collection. We can go to any of these collections. So we can go to this quilts and puffers or whatever. Um, if we hover over these images, you see that um, basically you have an image of the the jacket then or the puffer. Then when you hover over, it has an image of the model, right? And so I, I really like this uh, functionality. I think that it makes the site just a little bit more interactive and less static. Um, and I think it also, um, it, it must be increase, increasing their click-through rates drastically. Um, just getting two different looks at the same product, um, you know, it's gonna drive people to that, that product page. So let's see how we can uh, go ahead and implement this, this, um, this feature on our Shopify site. If we go ahead and, and we're gonna go, uh, let's let's look at our store first really quickly, just just so we can see that the functionality that uh, that we want isn't there. So uh, if we go to a collections page, um, you see right now that basically when we hover over this uh, this product, this monkey hugs, this was like a demo in a di different video or whatever. Uh, don't mind, just don't mind the name. So, uh, so anyway, so, so if we hover over this monkey hugs product right now, what's happening is we have this view button popping up and, um, we don't have like the second image displaying for it. Right. And so, uh, what we're going to do basically is we're going to put an option. First of all, we're going to get rid of this, uh, like view button. Um, and then the other thing that we're going to do is when, when we hover over here, uh, and let me just make sure that's right because they don't have a yeah they don't have a view button that pops up so yeah so we're gonna get rid of the view button and when we uh, hover over this uh, we're just gonna take this this uh, featured image and just uh, increment it by one and just go to the second image for the product so if we navigate back to our uh, admin panel the absolute first thing that we want to do really quickly is we want to go ahead and download the theme file so you're gonna click that it's gonna email uh, the download link to you and you want to click that download link and you want to download your entire theme file because um, anytime you're messing around in your code there's a chance that you break uh, your website and um, it's always nice to have a backup that you can just reload to and uh, start again all right guys so after you've uh, gone ahead and saved your code we can go ahead and click edit code here and uh, this is a completely new uh, theme that i'm working on so everything on this should look similar to your guys. The first thing we want to go do is we want to go down to this snippets here and um, we want to end up clicking on uh, product card dot liquid this here. So we're going to open this up. And so uh, long story short, basically this uh, product card goes ahead and, and plays with this uh, collection dot liquid. Where is it? Collection.liquid uh, to form the uh, collections page. So if I go to uh, shop code, like my home page, and I go ahead and click on the home page collection, right? Uh, you can see I have one product here. And so right now, um, when we hover over this, it pops up this button. Uh, we already covered that. So we want to get rid of that button and whatnot, and we want it to switch switch images. So this collection.liquid file plays with um, this product card.liquid. This is a product card here. Uh, and so what I want you guys to go ahead and do 
is you want to find basically where um, the image uh, um, tag is on the page. So if you go ahead and click this open bracket and image, IMG, you can find basically there's two image tags on the page and they're right next to each other. So this one is the one that you guys are actually seeing here. Um, this is a no script tag and it basically means that if someone has scripts disabled on their web browser, then uh, this will display instead of this. So this is the one that we're interested in uh, here. What we wanna do uh, really quickly uh, is we're gonna go into our theme. You wanna type here theme dot scss dot liquid this we want to open this file so we want to open up this theme dot scss dot liquid you just want to refresh the page if it doesn't open on the first time you can get rid of this notification up here as well so um, we're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom of this file and then you guys are going to add uh, the code put in the description below uh, that code is going to be the reveal module to the bottom here and then i'm going to go ahead and save this now we're going to go back to this product card liquid. Okay. So what I want you guys to do is up here where this padding, uh, div style or whatever is at the end of this before the close bracket, but after this, um, after this, uh, quotation mark, go ahead and type class and then hit, uh, type reveal just as I've done it here. Class equals space, uh, uh, then um, in quotes reveal and then the close bracket now that we have this what we're gonna do um, and what this classes is basically um, if we go look at the class so what this class basically does is um, it it's sort of a toggle with some transitions for the image so what we're planning on doing is for this um, this image here we're basically going to uh, instead of having one image here, we're going to have two images, but they're going to be right on top of each other. And um, whenever we want to display the image behind the, the first image, we're just going to hide the first image with some nice transitions. Uh, and that way things will look nice. So if we go back to here, where we've put this reveal class, then what we want to do is uh, we already have this image, which is fine. Um, what we want to do now is we want to we want to add the other image below it so we're going to go ahead and, and copy this image here and we are also going to copy this assign uh, liquid statement and we're going to go ahead and paste that below and then uh, with this image we want it to have the um, class hidden as well as this lazy load so and once we have that, oh, and we also wanna assign this image URL to be um, not just image, we want it to be products, product.images.last. So we're gonna go ahead and save that. And then let's refresh our, our page and see if this is working properly. Okay, so this, uh, so it actually is working. It's just a matter of um, the, sometimes the, uh, if we, if we go ahead and look at this here, so we can go ahead and uh, inspect this. There's this product card overlay here, uh, which contains the button and whatnot. But, um, but sometimes we're mousing over the button instead of on top of the actual uh, images or whatever. So if we just delete that in this, now this will work. And this still links and everything. So, so we just want to get rid of that button. And um, uh, so if we go down to, if we just go ahead and, and use our, you know, we search for button. So open bracket, then button. Not a, it's not a button, it's a span. So it's, it's actually down here. So instead of searching for button guys, go ahead and um, go ahead and search for BTN, just like this. So it's this here. So what we wanna do is we're just gonna go ahead and select this line and then hit control or command if you're on a Mac and then the slash and that'll comment this all out. We're gonna go ahead and save that. That'll comment out the button. So let's go ahead and see if we need to comment out the overlay. So it looks like it's fine now. Um, you can see that it's just, it's nicely transitioning between the two. Uh, the other thing is this will do this on the home page as well if you have a collection here. And you can see it's still clickable and everything still functions. This, this on the product page isn't doing the same behavior. 
So yeah, so it's all all good to go. So uh, if the if this video helped you guys, I'd appreciate if you leave a like. Uh, if if you had trouble implementing, um, <laughs> sorry, got my uh, my music my music is up. So anyway, so uh, if you guys had trouble implementing this, um, go ahead and uh, leave me a comment in the comment section below, and I'll try to help you as best I can. The other thing is if if you guys uh, are interested in these sorts of videos. Uh, if you subscribe, right now I'm running this thing where um, each week I'm giving a random subscriber of mine a, um, a free consultation on one of their Shopify sites. So if that interests you, uh, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one, guys.